Thank you. Thank you. Um, listen, I'm Alex Allen, President and CEO of the uh, Chandler Parker Services. Thank you for coming out. Um, we're going to do a few things real quick and then we're going to let our uh, parade go. First of all, we're going to uh, start off with uh, a little bit of a prayer. Thank you, thank you. Okay, um, real quick before we take off, I'm going to bring up a uh, couple of our board members, um, Maggie uh, DeSantis and Zachary Rowe. We've got a few words that uh, we want to share. We got a special treat for you. Um, the police chief, Craig, is on his way. He wants to share a little, a few words. So uh, we're hoping he uh, drives up with lights flashing pretty soon. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, it's great to see everybody. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Um, I'm a last minute replacement for Phil Pierce, the chair of the board who grew up at this park. So forgive me if I stumble a little bit, um, but I, I want to make sure everybody knows that Phil wanted to be here. Um, and if you get a chance to get to know him or contact him, please let him know how much we appreciate his leadership here at the Chandler Park Conservancy. Uh, so thank you all of you for coming out. We hope after you walk around and enjoy the park, you'll talk to your neighbors and encourage them to come out. I serve uh, on the board of the Chandler Park Conservancy and I'm really honored to have been one of the founders of the Conservancy, which is a 501c3 tax-exempt nonprofit organization. Our mission is to develop exceptional educational, recreational, and conservation opportunities for youth and their families on Detroit's east side and the region. We have a board of directors, a group of volunteers who assist with all the planning and all the fundraising. So before we go any further, can I get all the board members of the Chandler Park Conservancy to raise your hand and can we get a round of applause for all of you? Yay! All right. Chandler Park will have an amazing amount of activities this summer. And when you think about how the park used to be when no one came here, it's really a miracle. So in addition to the golf course that you all know about, we have the Wayne County Family Aquatic Center, otherwise known as the Water Park here at Chandler Park. Parks and Recreation and Detroit PAL will provide several summer activities, including t-ball for the kids, tennis, uh, archery, football, cheer, scouting, a walking club, and cycling. You can sign up for all of these activities over there in the tent. Is that not amazing that all these things will be going on this summer at Chandler Park? Woo! Today, we also want you, after you sign up, we want you to just walk around and explore the park. Visit the golf course, visit the aquatic center. Right across the way, uh, to my left, to my right, to your left and my right, are the t-ball fields. Down the road, there's an archery demonstration that way. Further down the road, you're going to find tennis. That's right off Frankfurt. And then you'll over to my left, you'll see uh, the fun and games area for the kids. There are volunteers in blue shirts. Everybody with a blue shirt, please let's see your blue shirt. That means that you're a volunteer. And they can tell you about some of the things that are going on at the park. Um, one example, right um, when you first come in off Frankfurt, you're going to see a lot of mounds of dirt and construction equipment. That is the football field that is under construction. It'll be an amazing state-of-the-art football, soccer, and lacrosse field. All right. So, hang on one second, I think I'm going to get an update on where Chief Craig is. Chief Craig is on his way. So, while we're waiting, please join me in thanking all the sponsors for today's activities. First of all, the Chandler Park Conservancy, Alex and the Board of Directors and the staff, and all the volunteers. Yay! Yay, yay, yay! Chandler Park Conservancy! Then the Detroit Recreation Department. And is there someone here from the Recreation Department? But please let us thank them. 
since um, since the city is coming back, the Recreation Department has done amazing work cooperating and collaborating with us. So thank you to the Recreation Department. Round of applause, please. A big round of applause for Eastside Community Network. Used to be known as Warren County Development Coalition. Yay! I don't mind saying that the Chandler Park Conservancy and maybe none of these activities would be here were it not for the work of the Eastside Community Network starting many years ago when a lot of people thought we were really crazy, that this would never happen. So thank you, Eastside Community Network. I see Donna, who's the president and CEO of ECN right over there. Donna, raise your hand. Donna, go get your shirt. <laughs> then Detroit Pal, the Police Act Athletic League, which will be doing virtually all of the sports programming. Those of you involved in Pal, please raise your hand. Yay. Is Tim Ritchie here? No, he's not. But thank you, Pal. And then Vargo Golf. Who is here from Vargo Golf? Vargo Golf is busy managing the golf course. That's the company that manages the golf course. Please, please take advantage of that golf course. The Wayne County Family Aquatic Center, I think Mark Smith is over there. Round of applause for the water park. This is a jewel in our community that so many people don't know about. Um, but those of you who do know about it, you know it's an amazing, amazing jewel. So please visit it. Then the Healthy Environments Partnership, uh, probably over there somewhere, yay! These are the people that help create the walking clubs here in our community. Please go see them and learn about um, joining a walking club. Friends of Parkside, Zachary Rowe is somewhere. Zachary is right there. Friends of Parkside is an organization that's been around a very long time and they take care, they provide services at the Parkside housing community. So a round of applause for the Friends of Parkside. Then the Detroit Police and Fire Department. Yay. Yay. Commander Chuck Mahone, raise your hand. Uh, Commander Mahone is on the board of the Conservancy and he makes sure that we get taken care of and pretty soon we're going to introduce the guy who's in charge of making sure that we get taken care of and that we're safe. So, I have some great words to introduce Chief Craig. We just need to see if he's anywhere close by. He's coming. Is that him right there? All right. May I ask Chief Craig to step forward? Get that man a Chandler Park Conservancy t-shirt right away. <laughs> Does anybody have a blue t-shirt we can give to the chief? All right. Here we go. Chief Craig, I have some words, if you don't mind, to introduce you. All right? Okay. So, Chief Craig started his law enforcement career as a police officer right here in Detroit 36 years ago. Following reduction in staffing after three years, he joined the Los Angeles Police Department, known as the LAPD, and stayed there for 28 years where he worked a variety of assignments from administration to the field. Most notable was the experience he gained in community policing employee relations. He then retired from the LAPD and was appointed as the police chief in Portland, Maine. So he went from LA all the way east to Maine where through significant organizational change, he implemented some very successful community policing strategies and redesigned the department's uh, structure to improve efficiencies and service to the many diverse neighborhoods in Portland. In 2011, he was then named as the 13th police chief of the Cincinnati Police Department, the first outside appointed police chief, the first African American police chief, in the 204 year history of the Cincinnati Police Department. In 2013, Chief Craig became Detroit's 42nd Chief of Police in the department's 148 years of existence. While many challenges lie ahead, Chief Craig is committed to leading the, De the Detroit Police Department in becoming a pr premier major city police agency in America, and just as important, in keeping Chandler Park safe. 
for those of us who want to enjoy the park and are working to bring our community back. Please join me first in uh, presenting Chief Craig with the Chandler Park Conservancy t-shirt and then join me in welcoming him to the podium. Okay. Chief Craig. Yeah. Round of applause please for Police Chief Craig. Well, I gotta say, I think uh, your introduction is longer than what I had to say, so I really don't have a whole lot to say, but I will say this. I'm excited about Chandler Park. Uh, as it was pointed out, this is certainly a jewel. When we look at our parks across the city, one of the things that I'm committed to is safety, not only in the city, but in our parks. Oh yeah, that's good. We have a parks unit. And they have done a phenomenal job. And so, certainly when I look around, uh, I understand that the football field will be done by the end of June. we got a tennis court that will be done before what? End of the month. And so, this is exciting. You know, we do a lot of work with the uh, young people. And, and a lot of it is, is sports-based. So this really gives us another, another platform to really work with our young people and do a lot in the park. So this is exciting for the east side. We have a new police station, not even a mile from here. A neighborhood police station. All right, all right. So I'm wondering why the gentleman's out there wearing a Cincinnati Reds baseball cap. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I just want to say how excited I am. I want to also acknowledge our neighborhood police officers we're here who just do a phenomenal sure job. Can we acknowledge our new police officer? Okay. So I know you've been waiting for a while. We got the band, the marching band here to, to start this thing off. Now I can stay up here for another 30 to 40 minutes if you like. <laughs> you gotta get this thing going. Anyway, thank you for giving me an opportunity to acknowledge this jewel of Detroit. Uh, and let's get to work together, one neighborhood at a time. We, the police, can't do it. You're our partners. And we're going to make Detroit one of the safest big cities, a turnaround city. So thank you for giving me a chance. <laughs>